We're about to enjoy that Christmas dinner with a bunch of friends and I'm sure a lot of you out there have been enjoying your own holiday dinners, hopefully with family, hopefully with friends, hopefully with loved ones. As we sit here and, and we just think about how lucky we all are, I wanted to use this video to do a pay it forward. There's a Christmas story that I think you should hear. It's filled with drama, just good feelings and good times, and it's all gonna happen right here, right now, on the wonderful island of Koh Samui. What's that, Santa? No, yes, I I've arrived. I have the sleigh full of toys. I have made the list, and I am checking it twice, and, and what? There, there's a problem. Wait, I, l l let me get back to you. I have to talk to the viewers here. Hello again, everyone. Fred Claus here, Santa's degenerate brother. We've arrived at a magical location with a sleigh full of toys for these magical kids. Santa tasked me with delivering the most special presents of all on this Christmas day in 2021. And we came to this very spot we came last year. You see, Santa was so proud of the work we did here last year at this magical school for autistic kids on Samui that he wanted me to come back and do it again this year. But I've just arrived. This is the exact location. Do you remember the scene here last year? This is a special place. Got a lot of excited kids here, and that's what Christmas is all about, isn't it? Well, it's sad to say, but it's deserted. This place has been closed. I don't know what's happened, but it's very troublesome. So, well, sorry, hold, yes, Santa, no. Do you have a live link? Santa, can you see behind me? This place is closed. We've received word from Santa that, uh, that, 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 that the, the kids have been located. We're going to rush now. We're going to hop back into the sleigh, otherwise known as a Toyota Hilux. And we need to deliver these presents before Christmas is done. Ho, 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 on Dasher, on Dancer. Ho, ho, so what do you have? Oh, Fred Claus is coming to town. Yeah, Santa, yeah, we're here. We're just passing, folks, the Lamai Temple. Rudolph is not driving this sleigh, my good buddy Scott is. And apparently the location of where all of the magical children are is just around this corner and at the foot of the hills here in Lamai. I brought my list. I gonna complete this mission. I don't want to let my brother Santa down. All right, Santa, we have made it. We've been joined by some magical elves here. My favorite elf in the world, Anna, Mommy, Haley. And this is playing the part of Rudolph, as I said, my good buddy, Scott. So let me just uh, tell you what's going on. For those that didn't see the video last year, this is the Samui School for Magical Children. These kids are all uh, uh, autism. They're on the autism spectrum, I guess you say, with varying uh, degrees, but they're all so special. It was my favorite day last year, so I definitely wanted to recreate it. I'm gonna tell you about the trouble they're having and why they had to move. Here's another elf right here, golf with Bung has arrived to help. This is a Samui group effort. We're gonna go in, we're gonna, I'd like to say we're gonna make the kids day by giving them some Christmas gifts, but the truth is they're gonna make our day. <laughs> oh, so what the cap, how are you? Nice to see you, nice to see you. So what the cap, how are you? Nice to see you again. That lady with the incredible smile, her, her name's Dalene, and I'll introduce you to her in just a minute. But first, the elves were busy unloading the sleigh because we had some gift giving to do. They're gathering, the magic's starting to happen. So what we got? We're gonna go through this list of who's been naughty and who's been nice. I think everybody here's been nice. The sky! Christmas, the sky. This one's for Tuta. You see, they've been very well organized by the elves. 
This has got an airplane. This is for Zoom. Being here with Haley and Anna and doing this together on Christmas just makes it feel so special. As we continue handing out the gifts to the kids, I did want you to meet Liam, an old friend of mine and the guy who founded this school. I wanted him to share the story of how this all started. I started school about 17 and a half years ago here. Yeah. yeah. And one day, daughter of Kundalin come to the class. And then my actor friend said she cannot be in normal class because she slow, she's patient. And Kundalin cry and say, but what can she put the children to school? We think, oh my God, what we can do that? After that three days, we take meeting. We bring a lot of kids. The special needs kids come to this school for meeting. Monday, and my ex girlfriend said we open Wednesday. Oh, that just like that. Just like that, and then we don't know what to shut them. And you, and then me and my my girlfriend say, okay, we do for free then. Let's and that was free. thirteen years ago. Yes. And is it still free for them? Yes. We free education, free food, free pick up, everything. Wow. Monday to Friday. Well, that's amazing, brother. That is so awesome. Make the world a better place. Yeah, yes. exactly, that's man. That's what, what we're born for. Yeah. <laughs> cool. They, they not, they not have problem with them because they're just different from us. Yeah. Children are children. Yeah, exactly. Everyone kids are kids. Kids are kids, yeah. That's right, man. Yeah. They're all the same. They all... They, they never hurt anybody. Oh, yeah, she likes it. Looks so good. Look at this. I can confirm, Santa, that we have delivered the entire list of gifts here. I like your hat. It's like Santa Claus hat. So as the kids are enjoying their Christmas gift opening, like, I mean, let's be honest, every kid loves that part of Christmas. We've caught up here with Darlene, and what's your name? David. David. Darlene and David. Darlene's the founder of the school. And Darlene, I'm going to get David to help uh, do some translating because his tie is pretty awesome. So, Darlene, can you just tell us, uh, like, what's happened? Why did the school move from where we were last year? Mm. So, the, so the old um, landlord basically told them they had to move and there was no more place for them. So that's the And so then they moved here. They don't know who you are. Yes, that's correct. They moved here. And, and she's renting here. And she's right. renting here. But they're looking to potentially move, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. She'd like to be able to have a place for the children where she doesn't have to rent. She because the own. rent can be a bit of a problem, she has right? She have money to pay. That's yeah. Right. yeah. So she wants to have a place where they can eat for free, stay for free, play for free. And then she'll just keep doing her magical work. So she has, as you know, she has two autistic, autistic children. Yeah. So she wants to So she wants to take care of her kids and at the same time help others in similar situations. All the parents of the kids were there, and with that classic Thai hospitality, they each brought a dish and served up an amazing meal so we could enjoy some more time with them and with all of the kids. Here's my friend here. He was one of the stars of the show last year, this big guy right here. Oh yeah. How good is, how good is this guy? Well that was awesome. Kids are enjoying their their, their new toys. Uh, it, it's really just a, a rewarding to spend some time with them. But let me tell you what's going on here 
with this school. So as as we saw, they got they got kicked out of their last location shortly after last Christmas's drop off, and they had to scramble and they found this makeshift location. And then we heard a couple of months ago that they were struggling to pay their rent. And so we ended up uh, jumping on board, using the pay it forward money, which comes, as you know, from all of you guys just watching these videos, subscribing to the channel. Uh, all of the YouTube money, the, the ad money that that generates goes into pay it forward projects every month. And this month, what you didn't see so far in the video is that We've paid for uh, about some back rent because they were going to get evicted from here. They have trouble just keeping up with expenses here. And rent is the biggest expense because as you heard from Liam, the school's free for all of the kids. So we ended up uh, paying 75000 bot to cover some back rent and we've covered rent up until April. And there's a project that's brewing that's in direct relation to this school getting a permanent home. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go into detail about that now, but stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, because this is gonna be a longer term pay it forward. So I'll definitely keep you up to date. Uh, I can't wait to see how this story unfolds. I love just revisiting a lot of the amazing people and places that I get to enjoy here in Thailand and that I get to share with all of you. And this one is probably my favorite out of any that I've ever been to. And I think you guys can see why. So thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. And stay tuned because this story is far from over.